Big Brother Niger is back. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Reality TV and Podcast. And we are fully back for another season. On Reality TV and Podcast, it will be season 5. For Big Brother Ninja, it's season 8. And this season is an all-stars season. Meaning they brought back housemates from season 2 to season 7 all up in the same house let's turn at the live opening show first of all we saw um ibuka the diary session um, in the diary room remember when season eight ended he was in the diary room having a conversation with piggy so they just took it off from took it off from there and then put him also in the diary room and, and can we just mention that the diary room it's lovely you know i've always had this conflict sometimes when you see the diary room and it's kind of busy kind of dull but this time around it's beautiful and let's take it up not to the house itself you know they release pictures of the house before the show started and i think it's a good idea because it, get, it got people pumping and i think because they also know that the house this year is beautiful gorgeous like it is a totally different thing from what we saw with the level of house and i particularly did not like the level of how um, level of house the one downstairs because you know people praised it but it felt like it was abstract it didn't feel like home you know just it just felt abstract it wasn't homely now this one feels so much like home you know I, I love it when they make the house a home away from home and that is what they've been able to, to achieve. Even the colors are cool, they are calm, they are welcoming. It, it's giving almost the same thing with, you know, someone said on the page that it's like Love Island house. Yes, if they got a clue from there, very beautiful. Make it homely. There's no need to be making it, you know, that black and white, yellow buses and all from last year made it look like it was as if they were on the road or something it just didn't look like a house it didn't look like a home but this season they've been able to make it homely and with cool colors my best house though is still the ultimate love house i think that that house was beautiful and i've not seen any house match up to it but with this house wow they've tried maybe this is even like the best house when we're talking about pb ninja but generally that particular house the best deco I will give is the Love Island um, Ultimate Love House. Moving away from the house, kudos to those who did that the job. They did well. It looks like a house. It looks like a home. It looks like a luxurious house. It's not just some abstract kind of thing. Let's talk about the housemates. Oh, more the line of joke. It goes strict airflow. Wow. Big ups to those who did the picking fans favorite true and true like with each person and then them starting with cc or more it gave the impression of we are not here to joke we are not here to 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 just play around we are here for serious business the whole lineup let me give for those who do not know the whole housemates let me give you the lineup we've got cc from double wahala we've got kid wire from lockdown we've got doing from level up we've got fraud from pepper them we've got ural from seagull bay we've got Pere from shine your eye princess from double wahala summer from seagull bay angel from shine your eye neo from lockdown alex from double wahala sheyi from pepper them ilebaye from level up Ike from Pepperdam, Venita from Pepperdam, Adekunle from Level Up, Tolani Barge from Lockdown, Cross from Shine Your Eye, Mercy, the winner of Pepperdam season, and White Money, the winner of Shine Your Eye season. Packed, 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 packed. In fact, the fact that they even allow the they made the two winners in place of Messi and that Messi and White Money coming last. You know, the housemates were kind of a bit relaxed, talking, and then Messi's dress. That was it, it was a dress that 
you know it was to announce her presence and it did just that the way she entered you could see that the, the housemates were sat they were kind of you know shook a bit because they knew that yeah competition just entered it would be very hard to beat Messi. you know they, they, they sat up you could see that Messi's presence shook them a bit and then white money entered and white money shook Messi. you know give her place her some you know a little bit of on ease like hmm, now i have competition when they put two winners together is giving who is the ultimate winner here and you know that, that was just brilliant the fact that they're even bringing past winners good just beautiful we also feel that this is this is 20 housemates we feel that at least two more will be coming in that's because there are 20 beds and then there's the head of house suit and you know the head of house will have um, a partner that won't be two people going upstairs so definitely that will leave a team downstairs and you know normally they will always bring people in who do we think will make these cuts um crossing fingers that beauty will make it we also think prince might also make it um we feel beauty making it is kind of hard for her now because there is Erica and there is Tata that have been showing major payment on the timeline, you know, shade, train shades here and there and all. Because it's, it's looking like, well, they didn't invite disqualified housemates. And it, even when Big Brother said, you know, in the post, I was like, oh, this is a time for second chance. It didn't sit well with them, you know. Probably they felt they were supposed to have been given a second chance. So if they bring in beauty, who needs a second chance? it would we definitely know the payment will go to another level but the fact that beauty will not come in the first set coming in second you know would, would make it justifiable because i know somehow somebody want to bring her in i feel it in me that yeah beauty might be coming in if she doesn't make it over she has a variety shows to to change whatever narrative she wants to change but beauty coming in would be nice just that with um, her being in the same kind of, you know, bow with Erica, with Chloe, with Tatcha, those other ones didn't take their disqualification well. You know, Chloe even wrote a longest letter about how they did not treat her well with the disqualification arrest. Tatcha has been throwing subs here and there at multi choice. And then we also have Erica. So if they bring us somebody from that bunch now, to look like oh well they'll start another letter or something but i think she will still make the cut if they want to bring her in i'm still expecting more housemates so let's see how it goes probably they will bring them within this week which i think is only fair bringing them two to three weeks later is just going to shake a lot of pains you no know, and then the way big brother picked this housemate you know some of them have unresolved issues and you could see it when the housemates were working in and those that they had some you know a little squabble with the way they were acting and reacting and the way people are looking at them like mm, see this person you're not really on good terms we are going to be living in the same house with them brilliant idea because definitely we want to know what happened post bb and what had all that they have, um, have been going on with the housemates and people are expecting to hear a lot of gist even about housemates that are not even there what has been going on and we saw it with Messi and Nikki, you know, last season they were kind of in a relationship and then they broke it off. They even had a reality TV show and then they broke it off and Messi went on to do it alone. And, you know, Ike even gave her coins the last time and this time around, I think there's also still money involved in this season. And once Messi walked in, Nikki was giving the vibe like, that's my girl, you know, on the low key, the way he was even hugging around her like, yeah, everybody be be careful. Kid Raya looks shook a bit like, oh wow, I'm in the same house with Messi, I need to get to know her. So we would like to see the dynamics between Messi and Ike going forward. We they resolve things, now their coins are still involved and all. Also Cross and Angel, you know, if you had watched Pepe, De, um, sorry, if you had watched um, Shine Your Eye Reunion, they had people people were saying definitely they were friends with benefits they denied it though that no there was nothing like that but a lot of people just felt that they were giving the vibes of people who were friends with benefit and they fell out but they left it at that and from the timeline what we've been saying not like they've been on speaking terms at all now they're in the same house 
are they going to rekindle things you know there's nothing like a tight space to bring you guys together mm-hmm. next set is doi and adepunle you know if you watched level up you know those two had an issue and you it looked like doing was not in the mood to talk to adepunle at all we did resolving issues we say this because Big, biggie is bringing a new twist in the form of eviction jury and he has not really thrown more light into this but they usually use jury system in big b usa and with this um, jury system evicted housemates kind of um, go to one side or go to one house after a time though it's not just in the beginning i think towards the end they start putting evicted housemates in one house and it is those evicted housemates that would pick the winner of the show also now the housemates can discuss nominations can discuss who they want to put up you know kind of an alliance kind of thing so everybody will need an alliance i will say this because if you are fighting with somebody it's easy for them to build an alliance to pick you out so it would do them well to get together but i don't think they are even in the mood to get together and this for other ones too we've mentioned we also have Messi and Benita. Word on the street is that Messi and Benita are not so close any longer. You know, if you check the timeline, they've kind of been avoiding each other, just being cordial and all. And people even noticed it in the hug that they gave each other, even when they felt it wasn't so strong. But last night we saw Messi talking with Benita. You know, those are people that understand that they need politics. You know, you need to play in-house politics. They is looking like Big is taking a little bit of power from the public when it comes to voting and a lot of politics needs to be played in-house if you want to stay long in the house we are looking at it so it's advisable to anybody to for everyone anybody there to squash beef or try to be co- as much cordial with everybody and we've seen it with Messi and Venita. they're already talking acting like nothing was between them or you know what on the streets is that they are not so good and we also have when we think Perry and white money have solved their issues you know but still you know you, you still see that these two are not so great together but they are cordial they can live together that is it we look forward to what the show has to give and we, 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 we are really excited for this because it's definitely going to give if you miss this one you are missing a lot i mean bb africa where ut it um ut one was superb and this has already started off on a good note and definitely with the lineup of housemates it is not one season you want to miss thank you very much join us next time the next one we're having will probably be getting the next podcast we'll be getting some fans on the show to talk on what they expect so far what's what they like their housemates their faves and all that so stick with us thank you very much like follow subscribe give us five stars thank you